What's up, my boys? It's peach season, I mean. It's peach time. We live here in Lisbon, and we are the Lisbon vloggers. And we basically do nothing but explore beaches here. So that is why today we're gonna share with you eight beaches that we really love near Lisbon city. Most of the beaches is advisable to have your own car or a scooter, but it is possible to get to some of them with public transportation. The first beach that we're gonna share with you is the Senhas do Mar, which is located 45 minutes away from Lisbon. I like to call it the Jamaica of Lisbon. Amelia, she hates when I uh, use that uh, description, but there is reggae. It's a fairly small beach and it's super cozy. It has this little rock pool there and it has a little nice area where people can sit and order drinks because there's a little cafe there. But also you have a really good restaurant that serves fresh seafood yeah. for you. And also you have lifeguards there all summer. Uh, a quick um, thing to keep in mind is that when you go to a Senia Stoma, make sure that it's warm there because sometimes it can be 27 degrees in Lisbon and then when you get to Asenia Stoma It's super windy, I'm freezing. Next beach. A little further down you will find Praia da Uesa which is my favorite beach here in the Lisbon area. It does take an effort to go there because you have to walk a little hike down to the beach and up when you are done and that doesn't really matter because you are rewarded with this beautiful beach that is not very overcrowded at all. I think that Praia de Ursa is uh, a contender to the most beautiful beach in yeah. Portugal. But be aware that it's not a place to come with, with small children simply because of the hike down to the beach. There is no toilet, no restaurant, no cafes, no nothing. It's a picnic beach. Yeah. So that's what you have to keep in mind when you go there. The next beach you should seriously consider visiting if you like big, nice, classic, Beaches is Ginju Beach, Praia do Ginju. Ginju Beach is one of the most popular beaches in this area that we are living in. It's one of the places where all the local people gather around for surfing or water activities. You got a decent amount of parking spots and you also got restaurants, you got toilet facilities. Also there is lifeguards there, which for some people can be very important. It's like Malibu Beach. Uh, basically, so uh, it has an exclusive vibe and uh, if you are fine dine hungry, there is a Michelin restaurant right next to the beach. Be aware that during high season, August, it's crowded. If you come in high season, all the Portuguese people are also at the beach. It's not only the tourists, it's everybody who is on vacation and everybody loves the beach. And August is the no-go month if you really hate people. If you love people and if you love hanging out with other people, you should go to the next beach we have in store for you. Carcavelos. And uh, this is the beach that is closest to Lisbon. And this is a beach that I like to call the party beach because I, it is, this is where everybody come, like people from Sintra, people from Cascais, people from Lisbon. The good thing about Cacavelos Beach is actually that it's super easy to reach by train and by bus from Lisbon. You have yeah. a various amount of cafes and restaurants, you have small shops, basically everything you would probably need. The next beach you should consider yeah. visiting when you are in Lisbon is Costa da Caparica. And that is whether or not you have a car because this is right on the other side of the big beautiful red bridge. It takes around 15 to 20 minutes to go there. So the Ubers are cheap here. You might as well take one of those. When you get to Costa da Caparica, you can drink your mind out. But you can do more than just drinking there because there are so many good surf schools out there so if you are into surfing and you don't know how to do it yet you can take a little class there and it's a long beach which means that if you don't like a certain stretch you just continue down the the beach it is super long one thing that you have to do at costa da caparica or fonte da telia or whatever part of the beach you decide to put your towel is uh, you should definitely check out the sunset. If you are just like Jon and you hate sand a lot 
And you also and, like... And other people? You should go and check out the next beach. Praia do Cavalo. Praia do Cavalo is one of the beaches that we actually haven't been to ourselves, so we don't know how to reach it. But we have read several places that it's not easy to get there, so you do have to go on a hike. But then you are rewarded with privacy, with a stone beach that is absolutely beautiful, and a place that very few people can say that they have been. Basically, you just have to go there to, to, to enjoy the private beach life. Although we can't guarantee that you'll be the only one there, but if you go look at the reviews, it's easy to see that uh, this is not the place where people come. Cabo Especial is our favorite place to enjoy the sunset, probably. You have such a wide view that you can actually see the curve of the, the globe. In these days with Instagram and all that shit, it's really hard to find a secret beach, but this is probably the closest you'll get. And speaking of secret beach, there is another one that used to be a secret beach. But, but not anymore. At least not when you go read the number of Google reviews. And that beach is actually one of our favorite beaches to go to because even though you have to hike a bit to get there, it's a nice hike to get down to the beach. Yeah, and again, it's not a place I would bring my parents. Kids maybe. Yeah, kids can actually yeah, go I've seen, there. We've yeah. seen kids there, yeah. so yeah, kids are okay. There's no lifeguards there, but it's just beautiful and it's probably the closest you'll get to the true Maldives feeling. This is also a place where there is no public transportation at all, so rent your own car and go to this place. And while we at it, we might as well go to the last beach because that is also a place where you won't come far without your own car. But the thing is that this isn't just one beach, it's actually a collection of beaches that are located in the nature park of Arabida. Arabida is located 45 minutes from Lisbon and you can take an entire day just exploring all the viewpoints and the hiking trails and the beaches, which is the most important thing of this video. So the main beach there is Praia Figarinha, which is the one beach where you actually have a decent amount of parking spots. Because if you want to go for the other beaches, you have to park in a small little fisherman town that is super cool and super cozy, but there is barely no parking. So you have to go all the way up to the mountain, park your car and walk down. But I promise you it's worth it because the beach has the widest sand and also it has clear water. It's such a nice area. And you can walk along all the coast. So if you don't like that beach, you can just take the other. The good thing about these beaches is that you have restaurants and you have cafes there, also have toilets and there are also lifeguards during the high season. And just to finish up this last beach here is that this is probably the best way to enjoy beach life because you can go on hikes in this amazing nature. You can go up, enjoy the view, and um, then you can end it off with a, a dip in the fresh Atlantic Ocean. If you go to Lisbon without enjoying a beach, you are missing out. Lisbon is much more than a big city, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Até logo. Até logo. Ciao, ciao. Bye.